Hi, my name is Matthew Kaufman. I'm with TechUrchin.com, and I'm just going to give you a brief overview and a tutorial of uh, HTML. I'm going to show you what it is, how it's used, and how to set up a real basic page. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, it's a really more of a scripting language than a true programming language. Uh, it's used to tell the browser what you want to have displayed on the page. Uh, it can be used in conjunction with uh, other programming languages like JavaScript, PHP, CSS, and a variety of other uh, programming languages. Uh, and those will make them a lot more flashy and a lot more uh, dynamic, but we're going to stick with basic HTML. Uh, obviously, you do need a HTML editor. Um, here, you see mine. This is brackets. Um, if you want to use bracket, if you're using a Mac, and you want to use brackets, uh, you can find it online for free at brackets.io. It does have a lot of extra goodies to it. It's real flashy, and it's very helpful. But we're not going to get too flashy in this. We're going to keep it real simple. So if you have something real basic, that's fine too. If you're using Windows, I would uh, suggest Note plus, Notepad++. Plus plus. Um, it, it's super handy. It does everything you need it to, and it also uh, uses some uh, hypertext highlighting. So I would uh, advise that program as well. Now, HTML uses a lot of tags. Tags denote uh, functions and also they uh, let the HTML file uh, categorize things within certain parts of the document or the, uh, the page. And uh, we're, it, every tag, not every tag, most tags have uh, closing and ending tags they have a, a beginning tag and an ending tag. So let's go ahead and start off with a basic HTML tag because every HTML document does have an HTML tag. And you should have an open tag there and then the, uh, the ending tag. And the ending tag does have this uh, forward slash. That forward slash lets it know that this is the end. So that forward slash is definitely important. If you had two open uh, tags, it wouldn't function the way it's, it's supposed to. Now, these tags let the browser know that this is an HTML document. Without these tags, the browser won't know that, and so it won't read the, the file correctly. Let's go ahead and save this file. We're going to save it onto the desktop and uh, here I'm just gonna name it what it is untitled.html make sure that when you save it it is .html if it's not .html it won't be read correctly so save it somewhere especially save it somewhere that you can find it and we're gonna hop on over to a browser go ahead and pull up a, uh, a new tab or a new window and now go to file open file um, it might be found somewhere else but it should be in that general area depending on what browser you're using open file find that file that you're using the uh, tutorial H, uh, .html file that you're uh, you're using for this uh, tutorial and here we have it Notice it says untitled.html, and then there's a file path. This is your file. This uh, is the body of that file. Now, we're going to add some code on here and start making it look like something rather than just a, a white space. So let's start off with some basic tags. I'm going to put down some tags. Um, you might not know what they are. I'm going to explain them a little bit. Um, but there are a lot of tags, and there are databases online where you can find 
a lot of those tags if you're looking for a particular one. Um, I won't go over all of them because it would take probably years. So I'm just going to go over a few. Let's start with the head tag. The head tag denotes a specific area of the, uh, the page that we're editing within. So we have the open and the close of the head. The head of the browser window is this section right here. The, uh, the browser will read that and implement whatever you put in there within the head of the document. So let's add a title to the head. If you put the title tag in there, it's going to have the open and a close once again. We're going to just type in whatever title you'd like to put on there. So put, I put tutorial one. And I'm just going to save it. Now, make sure you save it because we're going to hop back over to this browser and we're going to reload it. And all you need to do is use the refresh button. It's going to reload it. Now, you notice here, it doesn't say untitled.html anymore. It says tutorial one. And so there, we've used the title tag to replace the name of the file with a title uh, within the head section of the HTML page. And we're just going to do another tag in here. We're going to use the body tag. Now the body is really the, the meat of your page. The body is this big white section where you usually see the actual website or the actual uh, the, the body of the uh, of uh, whatever uh, you're looking at, whether that's a website or just a basic page. Now, within the body, we can do a lot of different functions, but I'm keeping this simple on this one, so just type out something. I'm going to type out techurchin.com technology news. Okay. I'm going to save it. Notice this isn't a, this has no code involved in it, nothing special. It's just the body, and I'm putting some text within the body. Now when I reload this section, notice we have techurchant.com, technology news. And that's everything that you put within that body is going to show up in that white space. And that's a real basic overview of HTML, gives you some Real quick things to think about shows you how the tags work and um, how many of those tags need the open and close. Um, not all uh, tags will involve an open and close. That's something to keep in mind. Um, but you can find those, like I said, on a database um, online. There are lots of websites that have um, a lot of these uh, tags documented and what they do and how they're used. And that's all I have for you in this uh, quick tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you would like, you can subscribe to our Tech Urchin uh, YouTube page. Uh, you can also uh, check out our website at techurchin.com, as you see here. I will be putting all of these videos um, compiled into a section on the Tech Urchin, on the Tech Urchin website. Um, and you can find all of these there. I'm going to go over some more, um, more intricate uh, functions within HTML, and you can uh, learn some more and maybe uh, create your own website in the future. Thanks for watching and sticking with me.